All right, so let's take a look at hypothesis testing. And uh, sigma is known, okay, and this is going to be a right tailed test. All right, so here we have the null hypothesis. We have the claim about mu, the population mean. So the null hypothesis is mu is equal to k, whatever k is. And the alternate hypothesis, we believe that mu is, and that should be greater than the value stated in the null, the typo there. Okay, so the alternate hypothesis is mu is equal, is greater than k. All right, so a right tail test. That would be the area to the right of our test statistic Z. And Z is X bar minus mu over sigma divided by the square root of N, where X bar is the mean of a simple random sample. Okay. Mu is the value stated in the null hypothesis H naught, and N is the sample size. All right, and to conclude the test using a p-value and level of significance alpha, if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject the null hypothesis and say the data are statistically significant at that level, at the level alpha. And if the p-value is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. That should just be at the level alpha. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the problem. All right, it says, Ben is a horse at a Colorado ranch. Over the past eight weeks, a vet took the following glucose readings from his horse. And that's these values here. The sample mean is X bar equals 93.8. Okay, the X bar we get from adding all this up and dividing by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and that's where the X bar comes from. So, you know, if they don't give you X bar, you can calculate it. All right, and so X is a random variable representing glucose readings from from Ben, we may assume that X has a normal distribution and we know from past experience that sigma equals 12.5. Okay, this 12.5, that's not the standard deviation of this. This is the standard deviation of, of all the horses of his breed. Okay, that's what they've determined. And the mean glucose levels for horses should be mu equals 85. That's an average based on all the horses of that breed. Do these data indicate that Ben has an overall average glucose level higher than 85 and use alpha equals 0 0.05? All right, so let's state the null hypothesis. Okay, so that's mu is equal to the 85. Right. And then the alternate hypothesis, well, based on our sample, we think it's higher. See, the 93.8, we think it's higher than the 85. So the alternate hypothesis would be mu is greater than 85. All right, so now let's calculate our test statistic, our Z value. So remember, our Z value is equal to X bar minus mu over sigma divided by the square root of N. And um, here, X bar is equal to the 93.8. Mu is equal to the 85. Uh, sigma is equal to 12.5. And N 
is equal to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. All right, so let's calculate it. All right, so Z is equal to X bar minus mu over sigma divided by the square root of n. Alright, so here's our z value, 1.99. It's rounded to two decimal places. And so we're looking, let me draw that a little better. Okay, we've got 1.99 and we're looking to the area looking for the area to the right of that. So we have the probability that Z is greater than 1.99 okay. or you know we're looking for the probability that X bar is greater than 93.8 Let me write what this is. This is the p-value is the probability that x bar is greater than 93.8 which is equal to the probability and we took our x bar we converted it to a z value that's a z there so z is greater than 1.99 so we have to look this up in our table. So let's come to our table and we want the positive. Alright, so we need 1.99. So here is 1.9 and we have to go all the way over to 9. So this is 1.99. And we get a p-value of 0.9767. All right, so remember this 0.9767, that is the area to the left. And we're looking for, here's the 1.99. Okay, this is the area to the left. Well, remember the area under the entire curve is 1. So to find this area, our p-value would be 1 minus 0.9767 because we're looking for the probability that z is greater than 1.99. So that's this area. And, when, and this 0.9767 is the area to the left. So if we do 1 minus this, that will leave us with this area. Okay. So... Let's go back. Let's go back uh, to our problem. And this is equal to 1 minus 0.9767. And so that gives us 0 0.0233. Okay, now let's compare this value to alpha, and our alpha is 0 0.05, and we can see that our p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we will reject H0, okay, and so it seems that uh, based on this it seems that Ben the horse's average glucose level is higher than the average okay so because we reject H naught we reject this mu is equal to 85 okay so that means, yes, his 
glucose level seems to be higher. All right, so I hope this helped. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do videos on all the hypothesis testing. Uh, left tail, right tail, two tail. Sigma's known, sigma's unknown. Uh, do the hypothesis testing on proportion p. Uh, so you know, check those out if you need to. And I'm doing one pro one each of them in separate videos because they'd be they would be too long. You can, I mean, this one's already over 10 minutes. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Thanks.